Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man profile. We have a bunch of stuff going on today. You guys commented a lot of things on the last video that are going to be hopefully very helpful as well as some easy things I missed, as well as a way to possibly get two to three times more vertexes, which would be insane. So if that works, I actually owe you guys. But if you guys are excited for today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It helps a ton. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Super quickly though, if you do find yourself checking on the Hypixel store for any of the remaining Harvester Fermento Fire Sale helmet skins, highly recommend using my career code on checkout. It is spelled just like my name, code Zach, Z-A-C-H. You type that in on checkout, you'll actually save 5% on your purchase when you buy anything on the Hypixel store. It's a great way to support myself and the channel, and you can in return pick up some pretty cool cosmetics like this Fire Sale skin. It's actually sick. Make sure you get it before it's gone, but without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Starting today off on the garden, and actually, uh, a couple people are online messing around in the garden themselves, and um, I actually just hit quite the milestone by doing a visitor. Visitor offers accepted, and that is, what, 16? Another 500 till the next one, but that is our 3,000th visitor served, um, which is kind of insane to think about. 1,000 until our Lotus equipment get another upgrade. I think only two more upgrades to go, but an extra four farming fortune. I will take it. It's been a long time coming, and we still have a long way to go. But hey, one visitor at a time. So a few little farming updates before we actually get right into today's video. I also think there's apparently like a, a maintenance now scheduled for April 8th uh, this morning that starts in like eight minutes my time. And apparently it's for like Shen's auction stuff. I've, I have no idea what, what's going on there. If it's content or like back end fixes, not really too sure. And not even sure if Hypixel will be offline. So there's a good chance I don't even have time to finish today's video, but we're going to do our best. Um, one thing though, I logged on this morning to do a little bit more farming progress because I kind of wanted to do a composter upgrade this morning. I wanted to get 48 polished pumpkins for the multi-drop upgrade. And uh, quite a few things are a little broken this morning. So first and foremost, this one isn't as insane, but let's say I was trying to super craft 48 polished pumpkin. I go ahead and type in 48, type that in. It doesn't update and it says couldn't parse the amount never seen that before kind of strange and a little bit annoying but i can live with that i can click that button 48 times why not and then i was like you know what okay let's go farm some pumpkin let me set my speed 155 done the walk speed cap must be a positive integer what does that even mean do i have to do like plus 155 like, it's it's just completely broken. So, um, I'm kind of stuck in 93 speed. So, I was farming a little bit of wheat. Got some more Pisterminator books, which is nice and all. But, uh, very strange. Never seen that before. I don't know why this morning everything's broken. I was farming at, like, midnight last night, and everything was working just fine. So, uh, I'm kind of restricted to wheat, netherwort, carrot, and potato. Could be worse things to be stuck to uh, with my 93 speed. But, definitely not what I wanted to do this morning. And, um, yeah, just so strange. Like... This morning feels weird, you know? Things just feel weird on the server so far, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there, but uh, yeah, unfortunately not able to do any of my composter upgrades. I mean, I could do this one, and I'm kind of tempted by it. It's uh, eight tightly tied hay bales, 32 squash, and 1,800 copper for composter speed. That would get it up to 17. So that one is an option, not gonna lie. All these other ones, though, like I can't go farm cookies, I can't go farm pumpkin, can't farm sugar cane. I still need to build a mushroom farm, um, and then... I can only farm hay. So yeah, just weird, weird stuff going on this morning. Also, I don't want to spoil too much, but the uh, the twins were online last night, as you guys saw in one of the previous clips, and they were farming some wheat for a while because they are working towards some things. Um, whether that turns into a video or not, you guys will have to wait and see on their channel, Twinco Plays. But um, something that we got last night while we were all farming wheat is we actually got a crop milestone for wheat. We're now to wheat 39, actually quite a bit over it now, 30% over. And uh, yeah, slowly but surely we're getting our way to max wheat um, milestone as well as sugar cane. I honestly kind of want to finish this one up soon just to have like a full crop complete. And obviously I just need to save all that sugar cane for visitors and... I just realized I don't even have the sugar cane set aside for the rest of the composter, so um, I might need more sugar cane than the milestone, unfortunately, because uh, back in the day, early days on the garden, I was selling my sugar cane for coins for dungeons and going to do Kudra and all that stuff. I actually sold quite a bit of sugar cane, so yeah, gonna have to um, probably go a little bit further than the milestone, but as long as I save the rest and don't sell it, I should be okay. But yeah, that's a crop we aren't too far from finishing. And yeah, we hit wheat 39. And right now I'm uh, yeah just still farming wheat because I'm kind of restricted to those four crops I mentioned earlier. But 
Overall, our milestones are looking pretty good, leveling up slowly but surely. I'm also 90% to another mushroom one without farming any mushrooms, so that's super nice, but yeah, level by level, we are getting there. So I'm temporarily in the rift right now because I was grinding out two stacks of exportable carrots so we can actually put eye drops in our minions today. And uh, someone punched me with their punch card artifact, which is one of the Shen's auction items. And um, basically, I was like, okay, that's like kind of cool. Like, I feel like not too many people have the punch card artifact because like it only helps you in the rift and not too many people stick around the rift. So I was like, I'll, I'll take a look and see what they got going on in their rift account. I was like, okay, Hocus Pocus Cypher here in the rift. That's kind of interesting. Blood donor artifact here. Uh, punch card artifact, obviously. I clicked on their ender chest. Nine rift prisms nine this is disgusting they they i don't even want to know how much rift time they have they also still have 5.4 million moats lifetime moats 93 million they have nine rift prisms in here what what an insane rift account by the way their skyblock level 68 wild ggs I, can i borrow one of the nine please maybe even two you know, if you're feeling nice. Also, quickly, I saw you guys' comments. I don't know how my brain, um, like, just whenever I saw Chimera on, like, everyone else's um, Ragnarok axe, I was like, oh, well, that's, like, the only ultimate enchant I could put on there. Even though ultimate wise is very much a thing and would help a ton because 500 mana is a lot. So uh, let's go ahead and put ultimate wise 5 on the Ragnarok axe. Thank you so much for the comments. Um... Yeah, I don't know why I just, like, completely blanked that that it exists. So, yes, this will help a ton. I also put Hot Potato Books and Fumings on it since last time. And, uh, yeah, I the only thing I really need to do is the stars. And then it would also probably be beneficial if I got a better uh, gemstone in there. But that will have to come with time. I have so many things that need, like, gemstones right now. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, one thing at a time. And uh, eventually we will have perfect jaspers on everything at least, hopefully, that's the plan. Another thing I actually got a ton of comments about that I didn't know is that different distillates for Inferno minions give different amounts of specialty drops. Um, let me let me kind of explain. So if we go ahead and look at Hypergolic Fuels, okay? So if we find the Gabagool one, where's the Gabagool one? Is it here? Here it is. So as you can see, speed multiplier is 20 times. And then also, sorry, something that's kind of more important. Ray up top, it says replaces four of the five of the regular minion production with a specialty item. And uh, specialty being crude gabagool. And the specialty amount is one, which sounds great and all. One, sweet. These other distillates have different amounts of specialty items. And uh, basically how it rolls for uh, vertexes and apexes, chili peppers, um, reaper peppers, everything specialty is that it like is affected by this. It's based on like the specialty amount, which I had no idea about. So thank you so much. Um, the one downside obviously being that um, it, my minion wouldn't make any Gabagool, which is a little unfortunate. But that's why I have the other eight uh, Inferno minions running with heavy tiered uh, Gabagool distillate. So, I think we're going to try this today, and if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, this could literally be two to three times more, like, specialty drops, being, like, chili peppers, um, chances at vertexes. I've heard some people say they, like, consistently are getting two vertexes per hypergolic while using netherward distillate. So, we're going to attempt to try that today, and we actually have to check the minions. I think there's, like maybe 20 minutes left on these things if i'm not mistaken so let, let's actually go check uh this dude owes us a vertex well this is his third day running um and uh so far he hasn't given us anything and uh wow today is another day of absolutely nothing this guy bro this guy's about to get kicked off the squad man uh not gonna lie but yeah um hopefully this one made up for him yet again let's go ahead and check he did yo let's go okay perfect and we have 18 minutes left on these until i feel them but hey another vertex don't mind if we do that puts us up till five um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and make two hypergolics with netherwort distillate which is actually gonna be really interesting and then we're still gonna go ahead and make eight um heavy tier fuels with gabagool distillate because that's how we literally maintain being able to make hypergolics and fuel these things but we'll see if that like maintains it and if i still have like enough gabagool every day that's like my one concern but i mean if i'm getting three vertexes per day like 
per minion bro that would actually be insane so i'm excited to try this for tomorrow also we might be chilling on gabagool even if we just have it going in these ones over here if we have eight heavies going i think they'll maintain us i'm not gonna lie um i'll have to wait and see but we have a good stockpile of fuel gabagool i also have 10,000 uh very crude gabagool in or sorry just crude gabagool in my slayer sack which is enough for a decent bit bit as well but yeah, over a double chest to fuel Gabagool as well as what's in my inventory here as well. So hopefully this lasts us a little bit. I mean, it looks like a lot, but it, it goes quick. It, it really does. And let me see if I have more. Uh, okay, I have Gabagool Dislet here as well that I can use. I know we need, what do we need? 12 Netherward Dislet for the two Hypergolics. Then I need 6 times 8, 48 gabagool dislet okay so let's go and grab that out really quickly two three four four the eight beautiful we have the dislet we need inferno fuel blocks uh i'll grab out the eye drops in a second this should be enough sulfur coal and now we need to make oh geez how much 24 32 a heavy uh gabagool so let's just start crafting that i guess four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay that was enough for 11 we're gonna need a lot more fuel gabagool than i thought See, it just goes so fast, like right off the bat. So, um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, there we go. Honestly, not terrible. Uh, that's not too bad. It takes like roughly a row and a half uh, of fuel gabagool per day for our 10 minions. So... That could be worse. That could be much worse, in, in all honesty. But let's go ahead and make sure we make two Hypergolic Gabagool, like so. Boom. There we go. Got to make sure I don't click one by accident that I don't actually want. Uh, so, yeah, we want to make two of the Nether War ones. So, let's do that. And this. There we go. And then we're going to want to make eight of these. Uh, should be okay to just right, just shift-click this. There we go. Crude Gabagool and two with Nether War. Okay. That should be good. That should set us up for the day. Uh, we'll also grab out our two eye drops we need. And uh, yeah, we should be chilling. So very soon, I will go ahead and fuel these bad boys in uh, about two minutes time. So yeah, in two minutes, we can fill these things up. And I'm really curious. Make sure you guys check back, check back tomorrow because hopefully it ends up being insane. Okay, the fuel should be over. Not gonna lie, I was just waiting because I was like, these should be done soon. Uh, this one is, I think I already emptied this one. No extra vertexes in the, the last few minutes. Don't worry. Let's go ahead and uh, kill all these for a second so I can actually chill here. But let's go ahead and slap this in. The Netherwart Dislet one. Use the eye drops. There we go. Let that thing start chugging away. We're gonna go ahead and do the same to this one over here. Another eye drops. You owe us some stuff, buddy, okay? Please, seriously, lock in. Um, and then, if we fly over here, we're going to want to put uh, the heavy in here. I also did the math. So, the f heavy fuel in these creates 24 heavy gabagool worth per day. And it takes 32 heavy gabagool to keep the minion set up afloat, or to break even. So, unfortunately, eventually it will run out. Um, one thing that is tempting, though, what might counteract it, is if I do one Gabagool um, Hypergolic and then another one Nether Wart, maybe that could balance out and, like, kind of just be infinite. I'll have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, eventually, if we keep doing this, we will run out. But we have enough saved for a while, too, where we're kind of chilling. But eventually, we'll have to get back ahead. So... Yeah, either way though, I'm gonna let these guys do their thing. Check back in tomorrow's video because these things might cook some stuff up in the next 24 hours. So I've been doing some Blaze Slayer now and I've been putting the uh, Ragnarok Axe to the test, using it for both the times when the boss is split. And even though it does cancel when you take fire damage, for some reason when it splits into the mini bosses, it just like doesn't act as if you're taking damage, which I'm kind of okay with because it allows me to actually cast the Ragnarok Axe, which is super nice. Another thing some people were mentioning was to use a Sword of Bad Health because apparently that just instantly gives you 100 strength. So I, n I might need to mess around with that on my hotbar. Um, running out of things I can actually take off of it though. Uh, a lot of the things on my hotbar are kind of needed, I guess you could say. So I'll have to look into that, but um, yeah, appreciate the comments about how to make it as efficient as possible. Also, can this guy like get your own mobs, bruh? Hello? Get your own. 
This dude, he's gonna be the reason why my boss spawns early for no reason. This kid. Either way, um, yeah, do appreciate it. And one thing that has been doing the Ragnarok axe is making it so I don't have to, um, like the second time the fire pillar spawns, I usually have it killed like just before then now, so I don't even have to use my wither cloak again for a second time, which is super nice. Just means that I can like visibly see it being faster by uh, killing the mini bosses faster, and then sometimes that extra bit of strength carries over to the first few hits after uh, that happens. So huge stuff. Honestly, it's really dope. And uh, ooh, this dude is gonna spawn my boss, and I don't want that kid to kill it down there. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing some bosses though. So far, so good. Um, but unfortunately, I am starting to run out of time because later today, at the time of recording, okay, let's see why. Who is? It? Oh great, oh great, just terrific. It someone killed it. My boss has spawned. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm still built different. But this kid has to stop killing all my mobs. Someone's already asking him to switch lobbies. That's the one thing with Blaze Slayer and the Smoldering Tomb. Some kids, uh, I think so, no, um, is what he had to say. Great. Good stuff. But yeah, it's here. We use our rag axe just to show you guys. Like so. Swap over here. Bunch more damage than I was doing before. And come back over here. Thank you very much. And what's nice is I still have time to put down my overflux in between. So that little bit each time is actually saving me quite a few seconds overall for the boss. So little upgrades here and there. But hey, eventually they all add up. So that's what you like to see. Was able to do a few more bosses, getting some more distillate for the minions. But no crazy drops to report. Slowly just chipping away at Blaze Slayer day by day. But we have uh, Mayor Cole coming into office next. Which means mining fiestas as well as a suspicious maintenance tomorrow morning. So... I'm looking forward to that. Let me know if you guys are as well in the comments down below. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use code Zach when checking out on the Hypixel store. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.